welcome back beautiful and amazing human beings that in this video we will be discussing america's big secret in afghanistan that is ravaging and destroying the poorest people in the united states that are facing an epidemic worse than when crack was introduced to the united states actually the deadliest drug epidemic ever seen in the united states ever and a major serious problem that of course many politicians get paid to ignore the mainstream media occasionally talks about it but is linked to the same monetary incentives as the politicians that are paid off while we here as independent media if we talk about this issue in greater detail and context especially connecting the dots that you're not supposed to know about well when we do that we get censored demonetized downranked in the algorithm and hurt because of simply sharing important information with you that you can't get anywhere else and as you've seen from our videos walking the streets of san francisco this problem is unavoidable this problem is expanding this problem will get far worse and just doing a little bit of research connecting more dots i am surprised myself at what i just found out that i will be sharing in this video and i have to remind you because of the many efforts trying to stop important messages like this that we are supported by your support through simple acts like buying a t-shirt or hat a mug a bag it doesn't matter we have it all on our official we are changed t-shirt store which your purchases goes towards supporting this independent media organization for more free videos for you every single day and these shirts not only do that but they are great conversation starters that really are a great way to uh, reach out and connect with other people and for the people who do purchase our merchandise by clicking the link in the description below sincerely thank you very much for doing so now i want to preface the, the bigger kind of investigative video that this is with of course the latest current events that are happening that are, of course are tied into this as we are getting an announcement that the same reckless american foreign policy that has created chaos in the middle east will be continuing under Donald Trump who who lies for its justification as the administration is caught in another lie about a quote imminent threat attack that there's no evidence of that according to Donald Trump now from his Twitter account doesn't really matter well it, it does matter and it's crazy to think that you could lie to the American people about foreign policy intervention and then just act like it it doesn't matter because it does matter because actual lives are affected here and then of course because of that message and because of other anti-establishment anti-war messaging we of course are facing the full brunt of censorship along with other independent voices for just simply having anti-war voices and again all of this matters all of this actually does have an effect because if you look at what's happening all around the world it does have an actual effect on human life and it's interesting because of how patriotic because of how pro u.s soldier a lot of mainline politicians and pundits on the media claim to be there's actually very little coverage of what just happened moments ago especially if you just type in afghanistan into google news you get information about some severe weather avalanche get some information about some winter storm in that region about some cia operation in afghanistan that went wrong and of course all the way down you, you finally get the information about two u.s soldiers that were just killed in afghanistan from a, a taliban roadside bomb attack that ended the life of two servicemen that will not be coming back to their families an absolute tragedy that is only more tragic when you look at the details of why this actually happened now i personally do believe that there's not much coverage of these two soldiers death because they bring up very unconvenient questions in our society and that is specifically why did they die what was the reason that they died and 
we're going to tell you in this video and the truth is very uncomfortable and unpleasant since it sheds a light on, on some of the most sinister aspects of our society that sadly people blindly trust. Something that has personally affected me with even me experiencing someone I knew die right in front of me because of. But when you, when you look at the Afghanistan war, you're looking at the longest war in American history, where even the children of previous veterans are fighting in right now that not only doesn't have an end in sight, but doesn't have a goal, doesn't have an objective. And as we recently found out from the government's own documents in the Afghanistan papers is a winless, pointless war that the US government has been lying about to the American people since the beginning. And that not only did the military industrial complex quote not know what they're doing, but there's no exit strategy. strategy. There's no exit plan. There's just lies and profit by the military industrial complex creating global chaos and along with that global chaos not only comes the protection of pedophiles which the u.s military did and actually punished whistleblowers for exposing but most importantly and if you look at the start of that war in around 2002 it is directly correlated with the uptick and massive increase of a drug over those deaths involving opioids specifically mainly targeting poor white rural populations well why well that is because that the war in afghanistan is a war to supply the world with heroin and there's absolutely no way of denying that after looking at all the details as even the guardian has an article here saying quote how the heroin trade explains the us uk failure in Afghanistan. Now, officially, to save face, the United States publicly announced that, of course, it doesn't support the rise of heroin use and production in Afghanistan, and they even allocated $8.6 billion to combat heroin in Afghanistan, money that was absolutely wasted and most likely spent on trafficking the illicit narcotic if we look at afghanistan before the u.s invasion in 2001 it was a period where the taliban banned the production of heroin the production of the poppy plant ever since the u.s invasion especially around 2006 2008 especially during the surge of troops into that region to win the fight we saw the numbers expand tremendously to record numbers even then president hamid karzai brother that according to the new york times was on the cia payroll and a major drug trafficker in the region was exposed as one of the systemic corruption symptoms plaguing afghanistan that made us that made it the endless pit of waste that it is for the United States. There's even other information of, again, the U.S. government, especially the intelligence agencies, cutting deals with the biggest drug kingpins in Afghanistan. And of course, this shouldn't surprise you as we get more and more images of U.S. soldiers walking around poppy farms, protecting them in some instances, and allowing Afghanistan to now produce 90% of the world's heroin and then people are shocked of, of why is there a heroin and opioid epidemic in the united states why is it increasing all over the world why is there quote unprecedented cheap high purity heroin all over the world well the answer is your tax dollars are financing your own destruction and you are paying for an international drug trafficking operation most likely profited off of by the cia that is all over afghanistan with many of their quote secret operations and again this is not just a problem of 
your local farmer trying to make money in Afghanistan, some idiot person who will just produce anything to make a buck. This is not that kind of situation. This is a well orchestrated, planned, organized operation from high levels of our government as there is now even a quote, new mysterious GMO strain of poppy seeds that are being found in Afghanistan that allow the plant to grow bigger, faster, stronger, with less water doubling the amount of opium and and what kind of local afghani farmer has a freaking gmo mutation facility that could create this mysterious gmo poppy seed that came out of nowhere nowhere and again um the united states after spending billions of dollars allegedly fighting the war on drugs in afghanistan fighting the heroin production in Afghanistan that actually increased it? Well, they even officially, just last year, announced that they officially gave up on fighting the opioid production in that country. And now, in the United States, we are seeing the direct results of that. With drug overdose rates, especially among U.S. women, rising to over 260% since that war in Afghanistan started. Right now, drug overdose deaths are driving down U.S. life expectancy, and more people die from opioid drug abuse than gun violence, car crashes, and many other leading previous causes of deaths. And you would think with such a massive effect, especially on rural America, especially on women, you would think that this would dominate the headlines, just like we are seeing the alleged gun violence and gun control efforts put forward by the mainstream media that really want to, quote, save lives. In reality, if they really wanted to save lives, this would be front page news nonstop, just like the news about guns is. But it's not. It's killing and affecting more people than guns are. And we're, we're rarely, rarely hearing about it. I mean, you look at the numbers, they are staggeringly increasing and will increase from here and then all of this is done why because our lawmakers because of our politicians and because of our doctors that are directly implicated here with the ignorance of some individuals giving them their power and their trust which they were led astray of because of and we are finding out that a large part of this bigger epidemic is happening because of systemic corruption. With even the main company, Purdue, that produced Oxycontin and synthetic Big Pharma version of, of heroin, well, we're finding out that this Big Pharma company knew the damages that it would cause, and they concealed it. They lied about it. They even bought the best representation that money could buy. They even hired former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, who argued in a court of law a deal that allowed this horrible company to continue to sell Oxycontin, even though it was well aware that it was destroying lives all this information is now finally coming out and we're finding out that this big pharma company knew and underestimated the strengths of their synthetic heroin to doctors hiding important information from them which they had right in front of them all of course while doctors who were paid by them and incentivized by them to be the drug pushers to be the real drug dealers well what did they do they they over prescribed this quote synthetic heroin to unsuspecting patients that of course trusted their local doctor they literally gave out synthetic heroin as if it was freaking candy they gave it out to kids they gave it out for symptoms like emotional distress people deal with emotional distress all the freaking time it's called life but if you had emotional distress you would go to the doctor, he would give you heroin that would hook you and make you addicted to this drug. And to get away with this horrible drug activity, this scheme, well, Purdue 
donated very heavily to many political causes on the left and right that, of course, turned a blind eye towards their corruption, towards this company ripping the fabric of this country from the inside. They even were able to pay off top medical journals and media publications to run their propaganda for them, which, of course, willingly, these prestigious scientific journals, these prestigious, as YouTube calls them, authoritative sources, mainstream media, regurgitated their lies to the American people that were, again, bamboozled, lied to, that still, there really is no justice for, but only the devastating effects on our society because of. And, and this one major company that has a large portion of responsibility here, well, they're reaching a lot of settlements that will sadly seal a lot of more important information that should be out there in the general public, but they are pretty much just buying their way out of this problem that they created. Now, of course, this company will go bankrupt, but the people behind it, the truly soulless blood-sucking, evil, satanic, luciferian people that caused this problem, well, they pocketed close to an estimated 10 to $12 billion for themselves, while, of course, the company now goes bankrupt, they get to keep a large portion of that money for themselves and, and avoid any serious problems or consequences because of their ill deeds. While, of course... Many people suffer and will continue to suffer by this contrived problem that was created by the system that sadly many people entrusted. And this is a problem that's unavoidable. I even knew someone that died of an overdose right in front of me that I had to give CPR to. It took emergency services a very long time, but I wasn't even suspecting of this individual having such a serious problem. But after taking opioids uh, that I didn't even know about, um, this person literally died right in front of me. Uh, but because of CPR and because of Narcan, which is a whole nother industry and a whole nother dangerous topic to get into, she was able to be magically revived from literally as the people now coin it turning blue um and it's uh, something that uh, at the time a moment i never expected to deal with and it's something that's extremely unpleasant but it's something that has extremely slapped me up to the reality of, of just how severe and how crazy this entire problem is this is one of the reasons why i also traveled down to mexico and made a video that's entitled how to overcome opioids an addict tells all where i documented a facility that specifically deals with substance abuse problems and helps people not only recover from it but gain their health back after dealing with very severe problems that were created by their doctor. This video, by the way, is being shadow banned extensively. I mean, if you look at the number of subscribers we have, this video only received close to 6,000 views. 6,000 views um, over a long investigative piece that had me traveling down to Mexico, which is absolutely um, absurd. But uh, again, if, if you know someone who is struggling, if, if you want to seek alternative outside of our corrupt system. If you want to just look at what other people are doing to deal with the severity of this problem, click the link in the description below to check out this video for yourself so you can get some information about what is absolutely happening here. What should happen here? Well, drugs should be legalized just like they have been in Portugal. There's no reason people should be sent to jail for having a substance abuse problem as we've seen opioid debts have been plummeting in states with legalized marijuana the war in afghanistan needs to end immediately all the troops need to come home they don't need to end this endlessly keep dying for a cia drug operation that needs to be held accountable for you, you know drug dealing drug trafficking all the cia individuals 
should be held accountable. There should be a wave of transparency behind their actions in Afghanistan and the people who are aiding and abetting drug trafficking should be put in jail. And the low level people who are is a travesty of injustice since this goes very high up to the biggest echelons of our government. So yeah, that's my take on it. If you have any other interesting inputs to this solution, let me know in the comment section below where, of course, I enjoy all the feedback, all the perspectives. Thank you so much for staying this long with me. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.